Let's see how we can use Cucumber with Java. Cucumber is a testing framework that allows to write tests in a human readable format called Gherkin and is designed to facilitate collaboration between technical roles and non-technical stakeholders. We have this existing Gradle project. If you want to know more on how to create it, please check my Java tutorials. Or using IntelliJ, you can create a new project using Java language, Gradle, OpenJDK 20, and Groovy. Let's look what we have in this existing project. We have the build Gradle file. We also have a test base with before and after each methods. Then we have two page objects, one for target page and one for web form page. And finally we have a test case which extends the test base and uses the page objects. The test is simple, we go to home page, write text to text area, submit the form, then we get the message and do a validation. Don't worry, we have this base and test classes. We are going to delete those a bit later. We are just keeping them here for reference until we implement the feature file. First step is to install some plugins. So go to file settings and click on plugins tab. And here let's search after Cucumber. We need to install Cucumber for Java. I already have this installed on my IntelliJ, but the process is simple. Just click on install. And if you are asked to restart IntelliJ, just do that. And the second plugin is Gherkin. It's similar. Search after it and click on install. And eventually restart IntelliJ IDEA if you are asked to do so. Also, let's go a bit to project structure. I want to show you what I have here. So the SDK is OpenJDK 20. Next step is to configure Gradle build file. We already have Selenium Java and JUnit Jupyter, which is JUnit 5. We are going to use JUnit 5 for assertions. Then we need Cucumber Java, so let's go to Maven Central Repository and search after it. Here we have two options. In step definitions we can either use annotation style or lambda expression style. We will go with annotation style and if you want to implement this using lambda expressions, please go ahead and install Cucumber Java 8. The process is similar for both, it's just that in your step file you will have lambda expressions instead of annotations. To run the test we need Cucumber JUnit and because we are using JUnit 5 we also need JUnit Vintage Engine. So let's search those two on Maven Central repository. Make sure Gradle Short is selected and copy to clipboard. Then just paste it in your Gradle build file. And that's it. Those are all the dependencies we need. And press load maven changes. Next create feature files. In Cucumber feature files contain description of scenarios and steps which are written in the Gherkin language. We'll be using scenario outline. Scenario outline keyword can be used to run the same scenario multiple times but with different combination of values. Also, a scenario outline must contain one or more examples. So let's do this in our project. 
First we need to create some folders, so let's create resources. And some folders where we store the feature files. For example, I have here come tech with Alex features. And in the features folder, let's create a selenium test dot feature. And here we will start implementing a feature file. So we will be using some keywords like feature, then we define our scenario outline. And now we are defining some steps in this scenario outline. For example, given I have navigated to page, and I have set text to text area. When I submit the form, then I should see the message. And now we define our examples table. First is the header for URL, text and message. And now we can set the values, value for URL, a value for text, and a value for the message we expect to get back. Just comparing the feature files with the existing test. So we go to home page, write text to text area, submit the form and get the message. All the steps from the existing test seems to be implemented in our feature file. So let's go and delete the test class. And also we don't need the test base. So let's go ahead and delete this class also. Okay, so this is what we want for our project. We have the feature file and the page objects. Now we can generate the step definitions. Let's create a package where we will store our steps definitions. I'll create some packages and a cucumber package. And from the feature file, we can generate the steps definition. Place the cursor and click on a step in your feature file and wait or press Alt Enter to open the list of suggested actions. And from here, let's select create all step definitions. Here we can set the file name. Let's call it my step definition. The file type, which is Java and the location where this will be saved. Let's select the Cucumber package. And there it is. This is our steps file. The steps are not yet implemented. So what we have to do next is to implement those. Switching back to the feature file, we can see now the steps are linked to our steps file. And if we hold Control key and click on it. We can navigate back and forward between the feature file and the steps file. Now let's start the implementation for my step definition. First, let's define some variables. We need the driver, we need the page objects like target page and web form page. We also need a constructor, so let's do this. And here we want to initialize the driver. 
we need to share the driver instance between the steps definitions and page objects. What we will do, we will go and create a utils package and implement a factory class web driver factory. This would be similar with what we have implemented in the previous tutorial for parallel run. So we will be using a thread local web driver. Then we will implement a get driver method, which is static synchronized and will return a web driver. So if the driver is null, we'll create a driver instance, for example, Chrome driver. Then we set this driver to web driver thread local and return the driver. And similar, we will implement a quit driver method. Which will check if the driver is not null. And if it's not null, we will call driver.quit and also we will call remove method for web driver thread local. Switching back to my step definition, now we can assign the driver using web driver factory dot get driver. Let's start implementing the steps. First we navigate to URL. Then we will create a web form page and share the driver instance. Next we have to write the text to text area. So we have the right text to text area in web form page object. Let's call it. In when we have to submit the form. And in then we have to do the validation. First we have to get the existing message which is displayed on the target page. And now we will do a validation using assertions comparing expected message with the actual message. And that's it. This is our step definition class. We are using a constructor where we will call the web driver factory get driver. What we want to do now is to not leave the browser open. So we want to call the method quit driver from web driver factory class. We'll be using hooks. Let's add the package hooks and here let's create a hooks class. Hooks are blocks of code that can run at various points in the Cucumber execution cycle, but they are typically used for setup and tear down of the environment before and after each scenario. We want to use after hook so after scenario, what we want to do is call quit driver from web driver factory. There it is. Okay, we have to do one more thing before running the test. We'll be implementing a runner class. So let's create this run cucumber test class.
and here we'll be using some annotations run with cucumber class and cucumber options here we will define features so please pay attention to your folder structure Then we will define glue. Here we have to define the package for cucumber steps. And because we also have this hooks package, we want to define this here also. Let's also define a plugin which will generate a HTML report in the target folder. And we can also use tags. For example, let's go back to feature file and define a tag for regression. And if we want to run just the regression scenarios, we go here and set the regression value. So that's about it. Now we can go and give it a run. Let's open a common prompt and here let's type gradle space clean space test. The test is executing. Let's also check the target folder. Here we have a Cucumber report file. Let's open this. And as you can see, we have here a nice summary with the number of test cases, the duration. And if we expand the Selenium test that feature, we can find the details for our test scenario. As we can see, all the steps are passed and also we find here the samples table. So this would be everything for now. This is how we can use Cucumber with Java. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.